So many studies are coming out saying that teens are dealing with unprecedented mental health challenges. Now, to speak more on this, we have Andrew Hovelson. He is with Southwestern Student Coaching. Andrew, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so you work with teens on a daily basis. You're kind of like mm -hmm. a Yoda to them. Ah. What are they telling you? What are they telling you are the challenges they are facing? Because we, we keep saying as adults, oh, it's social media, but what are you hearing on the ground? Yeah, one of the big things is social media might be the avenue or the catalyst to these, these feelings, right? Or peer pressure might be an av avenue or a catalyst to these feelings. Um, but really what the feelings are, are comparison. Am I as good as my friend? Am I better than my friend? Am I not as good as my teacher thinks that I am? Right? Am I worse? Am I a worse kid than my my parents think that I am? And really, what that comes down to is a value judgment of what the kids actually believe that they are as a person to the core. So tell me. What can we do to change the narrative in our minds, especially a teen? How do they change what's going on between their two ears? Yeah. Uh, so this might sound trivial and it might sound a little woo woo, uh, but there's some science behind self-talk, right? There's four levels of self-talk. The first is negative acceptance. That's saying, oh, I suck at this. I'm terrible. Uh, I'll never be able to. The second is the recognition of the need to change, which means I need to work out more. I need to do more homework. I need to exercise more. The third uh, is actually the decision to change, which means I no longer will procrastinate. And the fourth is, hey, I always get my work done on time. What we think as positive self-talk is always, oh, I always get my work done on time. Right. But that's really hard for a team to understand if they've never got their work done on time. So instead, what they say to themselves is, I need to get my work done faster so I don't feel overwhelmed. But inevitably, what the brain does is it finishes the sentence, I need to get my work done faster, but I'm not going to. And that's where the disconnect is. So we really focus on that uh, decision to change which means I take action now. I do my homework when it's necessary so I'm not overwhelmed at the end of the night. And saying those phrases to yourself over and over uh, throughout time can really affect the actions that you take. And then the actions that you take affect how you believe about, what you believe about yourself. 